it kind of scares me a little bit that editing is no longer needed to learn because of this camera. I brought the camera to Thailand because I was really lucky to get it super early, as well as all my other cameras, drone, tripod, but I only ended up using this for the whole trip, taking it everywhere I went. I didn't leave the hotel without this camera and that is a first time ever. And all these shots that you see right now are shot with the X106. Obviously the film simulation is, is what draws me to this camera and I am actually blown away by how the pictures look straight out of camera, JPEGs. I have spent zero seconds editing these pictures that I'm about to show you. I took so many pictures that I wouldn't have taken with another bulky big camera because I wouldn't even bring it. Finding the best film simulation for you is pretty much up to your own taste. I personally like the classic Neg, uh, the classic Chrome and the um, two black and white options that you get with this. One is a little less contrasty and the other is more contrasty. But the best film simulations I quickly found out that you need to make yourself. So these are my two go-to film recipes right now. One of them is more like a Portra uh, type of vibe, has pretty normal tones to it in terms of white balance. But the other one is more warm, so you can maybe call it more like a Kodak Gold. It's based on a 6600 white balance, so that means that you will get a little bit of a warmer look to it. So yeah, just dial them in and use them as you like. You're welcome. This is my first Fujifilm camera and the first time that I get to dive deeper into one and getting to know it better. A stupidly amount of settings here that you can change and I just love that. I'm actually discovering a new camera and a new system again. That has been like forever. I, I feel like I, I did Canon for many years then now I'm on Sony for my professional work. Whole user experience of these more professional cameras, they are kind of streamlined to just being perfect and that's it. And now I get to dive deeper into a new system where it comes from a company making cameras and film stocks. And the film simulations actually really perform so well. Most of the time, film pictures just looks good and I'm just posting them. And that is what this camera gives me. Incredible colors, it looks like film. Not entirely like film, of course, but it looks close to film. I just felt when I were in Thailand that I just focused on my composition and what the picture was about instead of thinking about, yeah, I'm gonna edit this later. So it might look nice later, but now it doesn't look that nice. My girlfriend actually got a little mad at me for selling my Canon EOS R because she wanted to have that one. But as soon as she knew that I switched it for the X106, she just fell in love with it stole it all the time in Thailand. She even said that, no, nah, we don't need to bring the film camera, the analog point and shoot, because we have the Fuji. Street photography is something that I haven't really done before, but in Bangkok with this camera, it opened up like a new thing for me. I, I, I feel like I actually did street photography the real way that it was supposed to be done. I, I put out my flip screen like this, and I just, just stood like this and took pictures of people, but they didn't really know that I took the pictures. Like I stood at the same spot for like two minutes and just snapped a bunch of pictures of people biking, riding their scooter. There's so many different people in these four or five images that have completely different lives. They're, I'm standing in the same spot, so it was cool to capture that without people knowing that this camera is present. I like to shoot this camera like I do with my film cameras, so I set it to 800, 400, something like that. 
and then I just leave it at f2 most of the time and then I just change my shutter accordingly autofocus is great can't complain about that the body is so nice you can literally fit it in your pocket maybe not in your jeans but um in your jacket sure this is the size of my phone it's a little thicker of course but like the size is the same as my phone for video this camera also blew me away i have to say like having ibis in this camera now you know for smaller cameras they're easily shakeable so you need that ibis you can actually handhold your shots so much easier in video so much longer for photo this is the first time i experienced like a built-in nd in a camera so that means that you can get longer exposures for photo you can also get the shutter lower which is always preferred in video it even has film simulations in video i tried some of them out here you can see that this is like this is not graded by me this is actually built not built in but this is dialed in as a film simulation and then i just added contrast because i'm filming in log as well i'm not sure how to um plug in audio in this thing because um there's not really a full mic jack here so i don't know what's the deal about that but it does have onboard sound and this is how that sounds like now i won't bring this camera for a professional shoot and that is basically just because the cameras i have for professional jobs have professional tools and and features that is more professional this is not made for jobs this is more made for everyday use and this is exactly what i'm going to use it for this photo right here must be the best photo that I've, I've taken with the camera so far like look at these colors man i believe this is with a recipe that is um, more warm like 6600 kelvin also i have to mention when you switch it to raw plus jpeg when you zoom in and take a picture it will save the raw file like at the widest 40 megapixels so you will get like a backup file that is wide and your jpeg will be basically zoomed in so really nice feature to have when you need to have like safety kind of my goal with it, buying this camera was to get my creativity spark back to have something that doesn't feel like work that I could easily snap pictures with and yeah just enjoy again in terms of experimenting not having to log around that much equipment now who is this camera not for if you want to swap lenses this camera is not for you and that's pretty much the only reason i can think about however the zoom function is incredibly powerful at 40 megapixels you can actually get like 40 megapixels 22 ish and 12 with like the three time zoom because there's like a one time zoom and two time zoom so three different aspect ratios and where does this camera miss i would say nothing because it's not pretending to be anything else than what it is 